the topic of my talk is a generic model of hyperspace curvature preservation for dynamic radial phase basis function implicit surface. The introduction to the problem is as follows. We have a muscle measured in a resting pose and also a set of bones. We know its initial shape uh, and we also know the relation between the muscle and the bones and also we know how the muscle wants to how the bone wants to move in any direction you can see the resting position on the left image and the changed position of the bone on the right and the problem is to find out how the muscle would look like when the movement of the bone happens to do that we use the inverse kinematics approach Our contribution uh, in, the, in our department is built upon uh, the triangular meshes and as you can see there are some approaches used in our department uh, wire points, wrapping obstacles and mass spring systems and you can see the illustrations of all of these approaches on the image on the right and our contribution is on a PBD algorithm which is position based dynamic surface modeling approach and we also tried, uh, tried it with various uh, collision detection algorithms as well concurrently we also work on as rigid as possible surface modeling or ARAP in short and we want to also know how these two approaches would work together uh, on this topic, uh, our uh, group of master students work on that right now, so we are looking forward to obtain some results. Uh, the basic questions, the question is uh, why we should stay on triangular meshes and why we should just th throw away this idea and use something else to represent the shape of the muscle. To do that, uh, why we shouldn't use just radial basis functions? Uh, the radial basis functions uh, have uh, these positive uh, things like uh, that they are smooth in general and they, are, they can be infinitely differentiable if we select the RBF uh, well and how would this RBFs uh, work? Uh, these RBFs are just uh, sum of individual RBFs and uh, the weight can be calculated in a simple, simple way, let's say. This is how the individual RBF can look like. Uh, there is an example of Gaussian RBF and you can see on the image on the right there are two of them in red uh, the smaller one and the larger one uh, when it's more it has lower weight and when it's higher it has higher weight and we can sum them together to obtain the blue curve uh, and you can also write it down as an equation uh, which you can see on the middle where there is a sum of individual exponentials weighted using this lambda i there are also arguments of alpha and xi. Alpha is a shape parameter which defines how wide the RBF is and uh, the xi uh, denotes uh, where the RBF is placed. The task is to find suitable number of RBFs and it really depends on desired uh, precision and also to find shape parameters, the alpha which we already done in our previous papers and the goal of this uh, this task is to find the center point so where we should place these uh, individual RBFs as you can see here there is a static model uh, he, where uh, we tried different number of RBFs to represent it 
the red muscles are the original ones, the triangular meshes, and the blue ones are the interpolation uh, with RBS. The first blue muscle, which is uh, the, on the top left, is the muscle represented by using only 50 RBFs and going on and on uh, to the right and then to the bottom uh, on the last uh, blue muscle there was 1000 RBFs used there uh, and as you can see uh, the first one using only 50 RBFs is not quite accurate and the shape is not uh, looking alright uh, there are some uh, like major major problem there however when we use 1000 RBFs the shape is quite nice you can see only two outliers there that we which should not look right uh, let's also note that the original mesh is uh, co contains 7000 triangles so when we use 1000 RBFs we have some kind of compression there and also we are not able to measure the muscle as precisely as the triangular mesh uh, is so we can just assume that we don't need to uh, approximate the original muscle uh, in the complete way well, the problem is to find the new center locations so let's assume uh, the muscle is connected to two bones for example and one of them is moved somewhere so uh, the attached part or to the of the muscle to the bone is moved as well and the shape of the muscle should be rec recalculated so we need to move the center point somewhere to do that we can uh, respect the original uh, the original curvature of the muscle so we can define the cost function as a difference between the original original curvature and the new curvature of the muscle and then we obtain the gradients with respect to all of Xs so to set two center points then we can just put everything together As a mean curvature, uh, we used the mean of the lambdas, uh, which are the uh, eigenvalues of the Hessian matri matrix. To conclude this topic, the theoretical model of finding the center points looks like, looks like follows. Uh, it's quite a complex model considering we have a uh, difference between the original uh, curvature and the new one uh, integrated over, over the whole interval and also then it's multiplied by a sum of individual RBFs which are also then multiplied by other things as well it may seem like it's uh, quite complex to calculate however we don't need to integrate over the whole interval we can just approximate the the uh, space and discretize it to be able to calculate this uh, gradient of cost function and the future work is to implement the theoretical model into the muscle modeling framework uh, we have already some results there but they are not quite so quite good to present here there are references used in the presentation so as you can see everything is from our department i didn't talk about everything because it's just not time for that here so thank you for your attention About a year ago, I participated in a doctoral students program with my colleague Pavel Schneider and we went to the internship in Munich, Germany. 
it was a great time for us. Uh, we learned a lot of things about teamwork and we also enjoyed our free time there as well. When the winter semester started, I took responsibility for two lectures of programming techniques in Czech and also one in English. During that time, I also prepared for my successful completion of my state doctoral examination. In parallel with master student Andrzej Havlíček, we prepared two publications to the ICCSA conference in Poprad, Slovakia. Uh, one of the publications was ours and the second one was my own contribution. Moving into the new year, the doctoral students program concluded, so I took my part in the project funded by Grant Agency of Czech Republic, uh, which is a project joined with uh, University of Mariborsk in Slovenia. The aim of the project is data compression and my own contribution should be in uh, compression of muscle models. So I work right now on uh, compression of muscle using RBF implicit surface. On the student scientific conference I presented this new method uh, using RBF to interpolate a muscle model. Also in this year I took my part in ROE, OHS Council in the field of education and also served as an opponent of a bachelor thesis. In the summer semester start I took the responsibility for teaching four lessons of the introduction in the computer graphics. It's quite a time consuming task considering that uh, we are only two people with my supervisor uh, who manages these courses. Uh, my responsibility was also to check all the seminar works and also to manage a Discord system. The Discord system we have is a quite complex one because uh, students can communicate there, they also can see how many points they have and also they, there is uh, examination which they really much appreciate according to their reactions. Approximately a month ago, I had the pleasure of assisting Professor Scala at the World Society for Computer Graphics conference held in Pilsen. This event was enriching, filled with exceptional attendees and valuable insights. At this point, I would like to thank very much Professor Scala for giving me this opportunity. Currently, we work in a project funded by the Grant Agency of the Czech Republic. Also, a team of master students a work in a topic which is very close to me, uh, which involves a method called as rigid as possible for modeling a muscle. My priority is to support them, give them valuable ideas and also maintain their uh, high commitment. Also, I was invited to the IMTEC company, where a bachelor wants to do his bachelor thesis. Uh, after figuring out the topic, uh, I am glad I can uh, supervise this, this thesis. Additionally, a recent participation on the Bucker's examination as a recorder was a valuable experience for me because it was the first time I did it. Uh, I helped before on uh, Bucker's examination, but not as a recorder. Last year presented many tasks of various complexity. Uh, at this point, I would really like to thank my supervisor, Mr. Kohout, for helping me in such problems. Also, a big thank belongs to you, my colleagues and my friends at the university, who provided me a supportive work environment.